Welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out a widget that just released that's going to fix the cover art in games on your Xbox full screen experience. Now this will work for any Windows device using the Xbox full screen experience and it's not limited to handhelds or the Xbox Alley X. Now if you're unaware of what I'm talking about, when you go to my library and in my games within the Xbox app on your handhelds, it's going to show you a list of all the games that you currently have downloaded. I currently have one game downloaded from the Xbox app, two from Steam, GOG, and then Epic Games. As you see here, Egg On is the only game that's been downloaded from the Xbox app, and it's the only one of full cover art. The rest pretty much just have icons. They don't have any cover art, and it just doesn't look great. So this new widget is going to allow you to essentially pick any icon you want and give it a full cover art experience. This is the same thing that's available on the Steam Deck, and now it's available for Windows and full Xbox full screen experience. It's called Steam Grid DB and it's available through the Windows Store. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and look up Steam Grid DB for Xbox and it should pop up. I'm gonna show you how to download it and use it and set it up so that it could get going on your handheld device. So to get started, we are gonna to have to go ahead and leave the Xbox full screen experience. So just hit your Xbox button, go over to the cog wheel and hit exit full screen experience. Once we're on the desktop, we are gonna to need to go ahead and open up a web browser. You could use Edge, Chrome, whatever you happen to have installed. And then we're gonna go to this web address here. Now I'll have it linked in the description down below and it should bring you to this page here. However, if you are doing this on your handheld, obviously it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to do that and type that fully out. So you can always go ahead and go to the Microsoft store and look up Steam Grid DB for Xbox. And then you could go ahead and download it from here. Now to get to the Microsoft store, we're gonna to go to our start menu down here, go to all, and then just look for Microsoft Store. It's gonna be right there. And then once you have that, go ahead and download it. I already have it downloaded. So I'm gonna go and open that. Now you are going to get this pop up here. It's gonna say that this app is an Xbox game bar widget only. In order to use this, you're gonna to have to find the widget in the Xbox game, uh, game bar by pressing Windows and then G. Now you are going to do this if you're not doing this on a handheld and you happen to be doing this on your main PC, if you happen to have the full screen experience and whatnot, you can use that there. Now, once we have that downloaded, we are going to go back to our desktop we have to go to the start menu here. Now you can either hold down on it if you're on a handheld or right click if you happen to have a mouse. Go to settings, go to privacy and security, and then scroll down to where you get to file system. From here, Steam Grid DB for Xbox is gonna show up. It is gonna be off by default. Just make sure you go ahead and click on. Once that's done, we're gonna go back into the Xbox app. And we have to be in full screen experience mode. So when you click on that, it is going to ask you to restart for optimum performance. We have to do that in order for it to work. So just go ahead and do that. So once you are restarted and you're fully into the Xbox full screen experience again, we're going to go and hit our Xbox button. We're going to go all the way to the right to where it says widgets and then down to Steam Grid DB. From here, it's going to bring up a list of all the games downloaded on our console. If a game is not appearing for some reason, then it most likely isn't supported. Uh, I do happen to have a game here just marked as unknown. This is redacted for some reason. It's not reading the game properly. And if you happen to have a game like that, just go ahead and click on the search icon, type in the name of the game, and then it should bring up a list of all the games selected from that list. And then it should give you all the thumbnails and full cover arts that you can search from there. I happen to have three games that did populate properly. So I have Fallout 3, Final Fantasy, and then Rebirth. So in order to start this, we're just gonna click on the little pencil or the edit. And in order for that to work, you do have to tap on the screen. The controller does not work for that, but the controller will work for this. And then once you've done that, you could go ahead through the list of all the icons that are available. So I'm just gonna pick just, just a regular cover art. And then I'm gonna go to the next game. Once again, tap on the screen to select the edit select the cover art you want, and then go to the next game, so on and so forth. Of course, if the more games you have, the longer this is going to take. But once you're done, it should just populate with the new cover art. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like for it redacted. Go to go ahead and click on the search icon. It's gonna bring up the keyboard like this, and then you're gonna type in the name of the game. And it's gonna give you a drop down of all the games with that name. And I'm gonna look for the one that matches my game, so redact it. And then it's gonna give you all the cover art for that. 
For some reason, it's not working with redacted and says the value does not fall within the expected range. And I'm not sure what's going on. Doesn't matter which one to select. It just won't work for redacted for me. So I was curious whether or not it was redacted giving me the problem or the Epic Game Store that was giving me the problem. So I went ahead and downloaded another game. I have Bendy in the Ink Machine here and I wanted to go into Steam Grid DB and see whether or not I can actually change that. And as you see here, once you go into it, bending the ink machine is still unknown, just like redacted is. Even if I go into it and I go and try to type in bendy, I believe it's just going to give me the same error. Bendy the ink machine, click on the picture, and it gives me that same error doesn't fall within the expected range. So yeah, no clue what's going on there. So it seems that Epic's Game Store does actually have a problem with this widget. Uh, it was released yesterday as of the time of this recording. So maybe there'll be an update that will fix that. But I went ahead and downloaded another game off of GOG. So I have Bioshock here and that works perfectly fine. There's no issue with that. It downloads and updates the image successfully. For some reason, Epic Game Store is given a problem with the widget and whether or not that has an update and fixes itself. And if there is an update that fixes this, I will leave a pinned comment down below as well as something in the description to let you guys know. Then we're going to go back to our library and now all the icons should have populated with our games and there you go now for whatever reason if you're unsatisfied with the look of the icons and you want to undo what you did just go back to steam db and then click on the undo button and it will undo what you had done and it will give you back the original thumbnail now of course you can always go back in and re-edit it and pick the thumbnail that you had before or you could just leave it as is now if you just want to go ahead and get rid of the steam db altogether, just go ahead and hit that xbox button go all the way to the right to where it shows the widgets and then click on widget store from here you're going to go over one to the installed and you're going to go down to steam grid db from there you can go ahead and just click the uninstall just go ahead and say yes i'm sure and it should fully uninstall it now you could always go back to browse and look for it here or you could always go back to the microsoft store and re-download it if you wish to in a future update if it happens to be working a little bit better uh, or for whatever reason you could always go ahead and do that all right so that's it for me today thank you so much for watching if you happen to have any questions or concerns i did try to make this as simple and easy to do as possible but if you run into any issues let me know in the comment section down below i'll try to help you out the best that i possibly can and if i can i'll go ahead and do some research to try to find a solution solution for you. But like I said, that's it for today. If you like this video and you found it helpful, then maybe go ahead and help me out by hitting that like button and subscribing for more videos on the Xbox Ally X. I do have a bunch more on my channel already, so you could go ahead and check those out. I'll show you how to cloud recovery if you want to go ahead and wipe your system. I also show you how to remove the sign in option on the Xbox so you can do an instant sign in. And then I also just recently posted a video that shows you how to share your Xbox Game Pass on the Xbox Ally X so you could go ahead ahead and share that with a friend or family member but other than that i post videos all the time about the xbox ally x this week is packed with a bunch of games and i'll have those reviews and performance tests up on my channel as those come out so if you're interested in that like i said subscribe and hopefully i'll see you there